Jazz Center Court, and uh, tonight we make a stop over Jazz Practice. Andre Karolinko on the hot seat. Good to see you. How you doing? Can you believe uh, so much time has passed? You are the longest tenured jazz man uh, on this team. Yeah, I hope I can stay that way. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's been uh, been great years, uh, ten years. It's just time goes so fast. Uh, I'm, you know, I remember that I came here, twenty years old, young running all the way, you know, all over the court, back and forth. Remember Salt Lake 10 years ago, but, you know, it goes fast. How much has the game changed since your rookie year to where you are now? Uh, it changed. It's it, it become more and more athletics, you know, more and more uh, strong and, you know, very fast people comes to the league and the uh, game of basketball coming, you know, from organization and uh, let's say technique, more right. to speed and, you know, athleticism. And uh, it's really harder to follow. <laughs> Let me go back because, as you said, longest tenure, you hope you stay here. You've talked about hoping to, you know, next year sign on with a contract. But the rumors of the trade in the off season, how does a player hear that, absorb it, and then try to focus on the job they have to do? I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in a little bit better position because for those 10 years, I, I heard so many rumors. So it's kind of you don't pay attention on them at all. Because, you know, for those 10 years, I can be traded all around the league. And, you know, I'm still here, still wearing jazz uniform. So, you know, there is no reason, you know, to think about any other teams. <laughs> you know, good things though this year. Um, I want to ask you about starting versus Jerry Sloan has put you in the starting rotation. Are, do you like that position better than watching the game for a while and trying to be a difference maker off the bench? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, I always said, and I'm still, you know, with my opinion on this, it doesn't really matter if you're starting the game or you're coming off the bench because there's some pros and cons. And, uh, you know, if you start the game, you kind of you have that little time to adjust for the game, you know, because other teams, you know, not warm that up. You know, you're still getting into that rhythm. But when you're coming off the bench, you kind of you've seen the game from the from the side, and you see who's hot, who's not. Right. You know, you kind of you understand the game a little bit better, and see where it goes. You know, where's the mistakes we made already, and you know how you're supposed to adjust your game when you step on the floor. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. But I'm trying to trying to be valid. It doesn't matter when I'm starting or coming off the bench. So right now I'm starting. I'm trying to get you know get going right away. Uh, get the spark and uh, convert it into the points or good, good moves. How about, how about the start of this season? Have you seen a stranger beginning? You guys run the table in the preseason 8 and 0. You, you have struggles 0 and 2, and then you have a, a breakout turnaround game on the road against a very good Kevin Durant Oklahoma City team. Can you put a finger on why? Uh, I think it's because uh, NBA it's it's like a zebra. You know, white and black lines always, you know, ups and downs. So, you know, we have a great time in the preseason. Then we get a little, little down, you know. I hope we get a rise again. So, uh, you know, if for all the games we play, preseason and the, and the season, I mean, we're 9 and 11. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, it's, it's, a pretty, it's pretty good numbers. And uh, I don't think it's a time to panic. Uh, you know, we 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 working hard on the practices. We're trying to cover all the mistakes we're doing, especially the last couple of games. Not last game, but before that, Denver and Phoenix. Uh, we're working. We're analyzing. Uh, we're trying to adjust, uh, especially with all the new guys we have in the team. So uh, it's it going to take some time. Yeah, that's a good point. Sometimes it's lost in the fact that there are six new faces with this team. There's a core that Jazz fans know so well, but. In this, is this a complex offense to understand? I mean, you've been at it for such a long time, but do people not understand that it takes time to absorb what the pick and roll and what Jerry wants? I mean, of course, especially we've only been together for a month and five days. So it, it's going to take time. And especially, especially, like you said, we kept the core, but we lost some guys from the core. So, sure. so uh, from the starting lineup, probably Roger, the, guy, the only guy who knows uh, you know, what we played before, and still, you know, he missed like four or five years uh, with us. And uh, it, it it's, it's really takes some time, and especially for the key guys like like L. You know, it's it's pretty hard to come from the different team and pick it up right away. Right. It's it, it takes time, and uh, you know, he's a great player. 
you know, we count on him, uh, and I think he's going to be a huge contributor in this year. What's your thoughts on the rookies, Gordon Hayward and uh, the jumping jack, Jeremy Evans? What's your thoughts? I mean, uh, they, they're great guys. Uh, you know what I like? It's personalities. You know, they, they're both different, but they're all, you know, they're both fun. Uh, they're trying to understand that that's not... It's not a toys mm -hmm. we're playing here and you know we we're pretty serious but on the other hand they kind of you know try to stay positive and you know kind of relax we try to help them and you know because uh, as a veteran i think it's our job to kind of you know make them feel comfortable i like the pink bags too they get to carry around that's always a lot of it's fun become a tradition <laughs> right now. hey before yeah, i'm not involved in it. <laughs> before, before i let you go People talking about the hair. You know you are a fashion icon uh, in, this, yeah, in, in Salt Lake City. The, the, the Karolinko Mohawk. Now you're going more of the floppy look. Are, are we going to see this all year, or are you going to surprise us and go back? What's, what's going to happen? Hey, uh, I'm changing it once a couple years. So, you know, right now I like those long hairs. Masha like it? Hey, don't let Charles Barkley be jealous about it. So, <laughs> you know, uh, he doesn't have any. That's you right. Know, yeah, Masha likes it, and, uh, you know, as long as she likes it, I'm going to wear it. All right. Andre, thanks for coming by. It's great you to see it. you and continue success this Appreciate season. All right. Good thanks. enough. Andre Karolinko on the hot seat. We'll come back. Center court rolls on.